All right, hello and welcome to Echoes of Color with Jeffrey Morrison. How's it going? All right, we're gonna do a whip and chat today. Diamond Air Clubs, Hogwarts Crest, Fine Oddities Black. All right, this beautiful thing. All right, so square, 22 inches by 26 inches, 56 centimeters by 66 centimeters. And 42 colors, including four AABs, which stands for Aurora Borealis. They're an iridescent coated, oh, excuse me, they're an iridescent coated type of drill that shines a little bit brighter than that of regular drills. And anything under color code or DMC code 150 is considered an AB. Yeah, this is just marking the color that I'm presently on. Yeah. Just like a sticky post-it note kind of thing. Yeah. I just use a sticker sheet even though like there's blatantly like a legend on the top left hand corner and the bottom right hand corner of each uh, Diamond Art Club game. I just like showing the sticker sheet if there is one. Yeah, it's just I find it easier. Okay, I think we are still on J3346. Uh, I'll just make sure. I might have finished this color and just didn't put it away. That could be the case. Yep. Okay, I think that's the scenario. Alright, I'll just put this away. 3346. So, how's your day going? Hopefully it's going well. Here are some pretty interesting uh, DAC near releases. That kind of steampunk one with the lady and the robot. Yeah, it's kind of cool. That's going to be a popular one. Her eyes look a little different, but nonetheless, it looks, it was a pretty good render. Oh, it's all good. I'd like to get Still Waiting. That one with the girl in the middle of the street. In like Japan or whatever. That anime looking huge canvas. The, I think that's my unicorn at the moment, <laughs> but yeah, it's okay. <laughs> Eventually, hopefully, but as for newer releases, yeah. Okay, I'm trying not to do uh, uh, 310. Uh, how about we do uh, the second AB here, number two. Yeah, we'll do 132. How about that? Let's uh, jump in here. Okay, 132. Good deal. Yeah, I'm working this weekend. Um, this is my last weekend on nights, so I probably don't need that many orange ABs. Yeah, 132. This is one of the ABs in the kit. Yeah, see that coating, that iridescent coating, that extra sparkle? Yeah, that's what I mean. This is an AB. So. Alright, so there's a bit here on the crest. This is like the bottom center of the crest for this Hogwarts thing. Yeah, I'm using tweezers for the ABs. It's just something I jumped into. When doing AABs now, the wax was just given out all the time because of the coating on the AB drills. Okay, so it's just a few of these. The AABs are spread out on this piece, so yeah, it's really nice. Fine Soft Day by Dreamer Designs had like a huge block of a white AB. But it did suit the picture. 
and there were A, B spread out, but yeah, there was a massive color block in the sky, but it worked out. I'm not a huge fan of a ton of ABs in a canvas, but it did serve its purpose. It was appropriate for fine soft day, I felt, so. Yeah, fine soft day was my unicorn for a bit there. I, I guess when I say unicorn, I, I've heard it. It's like a canvas that you really want, but it's been hard to get. Yeah, I think that's how... I've seen the term a couple times in Facebook and diamond painting groups on social media. So, yeah, that's what I believe unicorn means. A canvas you really want but it's hard to get or you would like to acquire eventually. I think somebody just made up that term, <laughs> to, to be honest, but it, it's a pretty accurate term. Yeah. Yeah, so still waiting by Yumiri Art, I think, is a, a canvas I'm kind of waiting for. Yeah, like I need another diamond painting canvas. I ordered two on the buy one get one Labor Day so Buy one get one 50% off. So they were both $88 and I received or bought the second canvas for $44. That's Canadian. I'm not sure what it is, American, etc. Yeah, so I was just kind of looking on the site and you know, that BOGO uh, banner notifying you of what code to use was on the site. Uh, I guess I seen it in an email too from Diamond Art Club. Uh, I think I'm going to maintain diamond status. I think it tells you on your account. Like, I achieved diamond a while ago. Like, it's a points system based on how many purchases you've made. Spend a certain amount of money. Yeah, that this is a few purchases. <laughs> down the road if you're like it's, it's a loyalty program in other words totally optional but yeah you get points for every purchase and you can use them towards discounts for your next canvas diamond art club never wants you to pay full price for their canvases there's always a discount code to use it can only use one per one discount code per purchase and they cannot can be com combined with coupon codes but I think Dreamer Designs has discount codes do they not yeah there's a couple uh, companies that want you to use discount codes okay some two ABs along here I'm not affiliated with Diamond Art Club or Dreamer Designs at this point but I'm, I'm just saying I do have a few paint with diamond canvases, but yeah, the whole license part it, on the website, which I think they updated, says they have license pieces. Uh, I bought these uh, a few paint with diamond canvases a couple of years ago now and I the artist is not listed on uh, the canvases but I had emailed paint with diamond support and they said their work is licensed 
yeah, I, I'm still kind of leery about doing a paint with diamonds canvas here on the channel, but I don't know. Uh, can I just go by saying that on their website, which I looked at recently, that their stuff is actually licensed? They, uh, Uh, I don't know, it's... I could slide a paint with diamonds canvas onto the channel eventually, but I'd certainly like to know uh, the artists that I'm diamond painting if I were to choose a canvas at some point for paint with diamonds. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. There's a canvas with like a, a warrior in a boat in like a cave or something. And then there's a dragon in the background. The coming battle or something. That kind of bought the canvases for uh, the artwork. The creative aesthetic. Uh, I'm just still kind of leery though. I missed this 158. So I'll just get this really quick. Yeah, I missed a three-circle triangle thing. I don't know. I'll think about it. I'll do a craftably canvas after this one. For sure, as I want to keep mentioning. So I haven't done craftably, uh, craftably on the channel yet, so... <laughs> I don't know. I'll, I'll think on that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm just kind of leery about that. Does anybody else show paint with diamonds on their channels? Yeah. <laughs> I usually see Dreamer Designs unboxings or craftable or Yeah, kind of... Purchased them a while ago. Uh... I don't know. I'll, I'll mull on that. We all uh, have different favorite diamond painting companies. Not to say that I prefer dreamer designs or craft blue at just kind of exploring canvases do you love the artwork and appreciate the artwork for sure but yeah i just don't want to be doing uh diamond art club after diamond art club but eventually i'll probably end up doing so i'll try to break it up but try to do other diamond painting companies but Mm. I might slide a uh, paint with diamonds canvas in eventually. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> mm, just say it. <laughs> okay, I'll slide into 400 here. Yeah, in the past I probably mentioned that I probably wouldn't do paint with diamonds canvases on the channel, but we'll see. Only they named the artist on their canvases. I feel so much better, but uh. <laughs> it's just so weird. Not very much of this four hundred. Oh, excuse me. Not very much of those brown. <laughs> well, I don't run out. <laughs> yeah, it's just a very specific color. Yeah. yeah. It's just in the center here. I'm not sure. 
Oh well, that future is not here, so I'll just work in the present for now. Yeah, just see what comes along down the road. Nothing's ever carved into stone here. But it, it would be nice to do uh, various uh, types of uh, diamond painting companies every once in a while. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I just want to be able to say who the artist is for whatever canvas I'm doing. Yeah. Just, yeah, leery. <laughs> It'd be kind of cool to, like, be able to offer a, um, DAC, uh, promo code. <laughs> be, and be nice to be affiliated with somebody. Like, Diamond Art Club, as I use them all the time. They're just, just feels so natural to shop on the Diamond Art Club website. It's pretty straightforward. But, yeah. <laughs> they have quite a selection on their website, but yet yeah, there's other diamond painting companies that I probably don't even know about yet. And Probably never will. <laughs> Just the sheer amount that's out there. Yeah. Okay, that, the rendering of these crest pieces is interesting. Yeah, the emblems of the animals. Eh, it looks it looks pretty good. Oh, it, it's got to be tricky to kind of map that out. <laughs> kind of giving that it the animals that uh, light reflection look that shimmering look with just a couple of colors uh, they seem to be pulling it off of course it'll probably look better once the sections filled in like the 310 but I don't know pretty good render yeah and as for that steampunk themed canvas that's coming up. Yeah, the eyes do look different. Her facial expression looks different, but for how you have to be able to map it out on a canvas, yeah, there's going to be a couple tweaks with the eyes. It looks to be a fair size canvas too. 
But yeah, her facial expression does look... Her eyes seem wider in the render. But, hey, people are falling in love with it already. Yeah, people are hoping it's not a limited edition. So I have a feeling that's going to be a popular one. I think there's like some sort of wolf sitting on the moon and the moon is melting or something. Like, oh, it's a pretty cool abstract one. I don't know who the artists are. I'm just kind of just kind of looked noticed them on social media the releases or the sneak peeks. Oh, quite a nice selection. Yeah, they usually do, Diamond Art Club usually does uh, sneak peeks throughout the week, but I think they took Monday off. They took Labor Day off. Yeah, which is all good. I don't know, see how it goes. Yeah, I had kind of been eyeing Moon Thief. That's one of the ones I bought on the BOGO sale. Buy one, get one sale. It was in the limited edition uh, section on the Diamond Art Club website, so I decided to just snag it. And I bought Phases. I, I probably mentioned this before in that BOGO sale. It's a woman that's like glowing in like the bottom center and then the phases of the moon are up in the sky in the background and she's looking towards the uh, phases of the moon. Pretty cool. Nice little abstract piece. Oh, it looks, looks pretty cool. So I grabbed those two, but yeah, I probably mentioned that before. Oh, yeah. Now, uh, well, let's see what the future brings in terms of uh, what I do for canvases, but yeah. <laughs> mm. Yeah, it's not very much of that 400, but yeah, it does play certain role. What's her next color? Yeah, pretty much a good chunk of 310. Okay, how about, uh, yeah, we'll do this uh, 38, 34, oh, color 41 here. I just have extra bags of 310 at this point, so, yeah. Mm -mm. Alright. Okay, playing with a bit of glare, and I am charging my phone, so, alright. 38, 34. Backwards L, and then a ball in the center. Yeah, it's just here and there. Okay. Yeah. That weird time of day again where the glare is like right on the adhesive. So I kind of have to like double, do a double take. just basically in the center here.
that's just a few couple strips. Oh, there's some of it hiding here. Darn, the glare is bad. <laughs> I purchased the second book of the Wheel of Time. I'm almost done reading the first uh, Wheel of Time book. I'm on the treadmill. Okay. Yeah, The Eye of the World and then The Great Hunt is the second one. Bookstore people were trying to get me to pay 39 bucks a, a year to get extra discounts and stuff on the Plum Rewards uh, points program for buying books. I'll just stick with the points, thanks. I'm just going to buy one Wheel of Time book at a time. Uh, all the books are like have been published, but like the series is complete. But I really don't need to have a half a dozen of them sitting on my desk waiting to be read. Like if somebody's ready to read the third book or whatever. Yeah, they can get it off the shelf and I can wait for another copy or they can order it for me. Yeah, I know I can order it online probably off Amazon or whatever, but... Yeah, if you get a certain number of points on those Plum Rewards, it's like a Cole's Chapters thing. Yeah, just get a discount and save money when you buy books or any purchase from the store really I usually just buy books I do buy the odd huge book of word search puzzles like those huge volumes various puzzles on them but yeah like, it's free to like get a Plum Rewards card, but all this, like, 39 bucks a month for, or a year, sorry, a year. That This is probably a Canadian thing. Yeah, 39 bucks a year to get, like, an extra 10% off or whatever. Just trying to up, she's just trying to upsell everybody that was up the till. I was nice enough to listen because it's the first time I heard the blurb, but yeah, there's just one other person that was like, ah, no thanks. <laughs> Cut her off. She just kept going on my eyes, just glazed over. 39 bucks? First time of, like, I just started buying books again. Well, I know about this Robert Jordan stuff. I have to snag a Terry Goodkind if I like Wizard's first rule is Sword of Truth series. So lo and behold, I confused Terry Goodkind with uh, Robert Jordan. I swear I'm going to forget. <laughs> I end up mix these two authors up all the time. I have not read any of the Sword of Truth, but I believe I have Wizard's first rule. I think there's just four books in the Sword of Truth series. If I'm incorrect, please let me know. I'm not too familiar. I'm just going by what's on the inside cover of the book. Books that I have. The most recent printing of the third printed edition paperbacks of the Wheel of Time have all the books listed on the inside front cover. So I'll just keep looking at the subsequent uh, releases to make sure I'm... And the books are numbered in this published edition. But anyway, you've been watching That Goes to Color with Jeffrey Morrison. Down below in the description, I put my Facebook profile page, my That Goes to Color Facebook business page, it's really just a website within Facebook that I have. 
and my Instagram. All three I just try to update simultaneously. Whether I complete a section or show the next uh, whip that we're that I'm going to work on for the channel, etc. The odd meditation quote for my personal Facebook and Instagram. I post on Instagram, it posts on posts on my personal Facebook. See that every once in a while. And I'll put my uh, Conqueror Lord of the Rings walking challenge uh, website link down below along with my Pacer walking challenge uh, link. They're I'm not affiliated. They're just the websites that I bought those challenges off of. And there's a lot more similar challenges. You walk the walk cycle, etc. It's a fitness thing. And you get a medal and a digital certificate, etc. But anyway, it's not affiliate links. So I'm not affiliated or registered with anybody. So yeah, but take care. All the best, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.